Good morning traders and this is your Forex Reviews for today. So EURUSD has hit top of range. Um, if I was long I would be out of this at the moment but because it's ranging I'm not even in it. Uh, yeah, so I would assume that this would be a short opportunity at the moment. Your stop is going to be above um, the highest point. We'll look at that on the hour and you're looking for a move back to the downside. Um, one word of warning though, if you look here, low, higher low. Okay, so we have formed a higher low. We have taken out some of these highs here. So the big question is what's going to transpire. It does look like there's a flag brewing here as well. And if we'll get down to the hour, we'll see a little bit more structure. So flag or alternatively flat top triangle, uh, which would indicate a break to the upside. So for me, my rules are pretty simple. This trend has been up, I'm consolidating. The higher probability trade is an eventual break to the upside. Okay, um, so I would not be taking shorts here. So if you are range trading, yeah, there's an opportunity for that. But me personally, it's not the way I trade. I'd rather wait for the downside, wait for the bottom here and then take the long. So at the moment, that's pretty much what we have uh, on offer right now. Definitely wouldn't be taking longs up here. Okay. Uh, would be looking at longs further down or in any pullback but for now it's sit on hands okay so that's pretty much um, the structure that we see here at the moment what may actually transpire is something like like that so in other words bit of a rally sideways and then a little bit of break or even a break to the downside and then get that target to the downside anyway either way it's not what not what I'm looking to trade um, US dollar Japanese yen had a bit of a skewed uh, candle here with um, their president uh, resigning. So this is also still ranging as far as I'm concerned right now. Uh, you can see how the moving average is flat on the eight hour. So that's always an indication of a range. We've got a bit of a gap at the bottom here. And uh, if we come to the hour, you'll see the massive move down and then consolidation. Okay. So again, this, I'm still looking for the break to the downside here. So what we're looking for is a retest of a level. There's the most logical level right now, 105.850. Uh, see a retest of that and see if that holds. And then we'll be looking for long, uh, for shorts. And there is another level just above it, okay, which is 105.915. The problem is that there's no real decent area for a stop. So the closest stop is above, right at the top here, um, or alternatively above this level here of uh, 106.594. So watching this one with the interest because any move into this zone, because of this move, this previous move, I may be looking for something out of this, but uh, still sitting on hands as well. Um, pound, US dollar, we had the breakout. So you can see here, a pretty strong breakout of this triangle. And uh, we haven't really had a chance to come back and get into this. So it hasn't pulled back. Um, we had a bit of a structural pullback here. I'm going to use this level so we don't clutter the chart. So you can see there was a previous swing high. And we did come back into the zone and then move up. So I would be looking for some kind of a move down for an opportunity to buy into and um, that's kind of the two levels that I'd be interested in. So the first one would be 133025, and the second one is going to be 132852. So I'm looking for price to come back into this area, get some bullish price action. I'm looking for an opportunity to buy. If we get this kind of uh, price action, there's big confusion, um, not even bothering with it again. Okay, um, Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar. This is looking pretty interesting. So first thing to understand is that we do have a pretty strong uptrend. Okay, so there is our strong uptrend. We have a wedge that is forming. Okay, and at the same time we've got this pin bar and then the inside bar. So we have uh, sort of a bullish pattern off structure. Now the structure is not uh, just get to a higher time frame. The structure is not really well formed, so it's basically not uh, it's not off a level. If you look to the left here, you can see where price is on this green line here, and it doesn't really form to anything. 
the big level that we need to look for is 108.823. If you look on the weekly, look at the congestion at that area. Oh, come on. Doesn't want to play with us this morning. Okay, there we go. So you can see there's a lot of structure here, okay, at this area here. So that is the area that I would feel more comfortable with. And then there's just one more little bit below, uh, which is around there. Okay, you can see that's where all the structure is. So if you come back down to the hour, and everything is slow today. Uh, so if we come back down to the hour, you'll see those two levels are a little bit f far away. Okay, so my view at the moment is that this sort of downward gentle slide is going to continue until we come back to test the 108.823 and all the way down to 108.5. 108.5, any price action down there, I'm looking to buy. This has been a weekly close above those levels and we're coming back. We have to come back and test it. That's uh, pretty much the norm. So that's what I'm assuming here. So when you look at this on the 8 hour, this flag... Although we do have a bullish pattern here, I think you're probably going to find a move up to test one of these breakouts and then another move down. So you, know, you may be interested in a short up here in this area here, which is 109.464. Uh, I'm not because this is the upward trend. This is consolidation and I'm looking for price actions to tell me when to buy. And that's what I'm watching there. So that is looking pretty interesting. Uh, pound Japanese yen looking a little bit confused big up big down don't think of something that we'll be looking at today uh, we may uh, no, not even going to say that so um, this is the area that I would expect some selling but we're above it and we've closed above it on three one hour candles at the moment so not interested in this keep out of this completely um, and the last one that we're watching is Euro Canadian dollar so just starting off on the weekly here, uh, we have this weekly level where price is now, okay? Uh, I'd like to just extend that a little bit further down to this area here. And if we come to the 8 hour, you'll see a pretty strong wedge onto a level. Okay, now bear in mind you've got another weekly level just below which is around there. So that would also be the bottom of this uh, trend line. So what I'm looking for is probably a is a short scalp to come down to this area, which is probably going to form a double bottom of sort uh, inside a wedge. I mean, there's just so much bullish price action there for a breakout. So um, for me at the moment, you can see we do have some structure on the hour, so we could break through this at the moment, or we could break the downside. So the simple trade here, and it's actually a pretty low risk trade, is a break of this range, top or bottom, is going to dictate which way you're going. So a break below bottom of the range at 155649 gives you another target of 155299. Um, if that does give by any chance, and looking at the hour, I think that's going to be tough then this is the area to be buying into which is one five double four double six okay uh, break above the top of this range which breaks this trend line as well which is going to be the flag break which is one five six zero six two uh, your stop is going to be below the swing low um, that is going to give us uh, a confirmation of the move to the upside so if i just delete that noise there and take this here just look at the structure that we have here. Okay, so look at all these tails here. What, and uh, I can extend it further back. Okay, so look at that structure. Used as resistance here, used as support, uh, used as resistance, 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 used as support. And by the looks of thing coming down to use it as support again. So you pretty much clear where my bias is that this flag is looking to break to the upside and I'm looking for uh, bullish price action right here in this area. So this is looking very interesting for um, today. Uh, maybe not today, probably uh, from a monthly perspective, probably next month, uh, tomorrow. But this is looking like a breakout and it's a pretty big flag as well. Uh, let's come back here. So the flag, I'll take 
like it on the daily, is a measured move. Okay, let's just be conservative. I'm going to take it from this tail here because price broke up and came down. Decent pullback there. So that takes us pretty much to that area there, which is 166.5. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. Hope it helps, and we will catch up with you later. Cheers for now.